Great Gulf approached me to design public art for their two 45-story development towers. So I've designed a glass work that's backlit facing the street. And then there's two other elements in the passageway inside the building in different areas. The client wanted uh, big, bold colors to highlight that kind of gray area of the development. And that's sort of my signature, a bold use of color. On the site previous to the condominium project was one of the first vaudeville theaters. It was called Shays Victoria, and that's in the name of my project. It was built in 1910, and it was torn down in 1956. And it was in the Beaux-Arts style, which is very frilly and ornate. I looked at these uh, ornate patterns, which I love, and decided to start riffing on those in multicolors. I just was so inspired as soon as I saw these blueprints. This is the ticket wicket, and that's the motif there, of the harp and laurel. I took the, this pattern from the ticket wicket and isolated it and printed it onto transparent film and started playing around with what would that look on different layers, like film separations and how that could repeat, and came up with this uh, first to scale mock-up. So that's the bottom layer of the um, red lines, and then this will appear on top, the blueprint layer. It's actually made up of two layers of colored lines and then the blueprint layer. And then you have to imagine these four inches apart, and then this is the final layer on top, echoing the lines below. And for zone two, the lines are finer because the light boxes are smaller, so they're based on a different pattern from one of the Beaux-Arts columns inside. It's a sidewalk location, so I felt that hand-painted glass would be incredible. It'll have a very tactile quality and you can walk right up to it on the street level. It's a ceramic paint, specially designed in this studio in Munich and you paint the ceramic paint on the glass surface and then it's fired in a kiln, so it's fused permanently to the glass. I worked in the barn one summer and I did half of the piece life-size. I photographed each panel to create digital files of this that then I could just work with to come up with a digital plan of the work. Then I sent that to Munich and they could print out each pane on paper and lay it flat and then lay the glass on top. So they had a pattern underneath to work from to paint onto the glass. After the glass piece was being fabricated and after I'd done all these large mock-ups, I thought, well, I'd like to do a series of acrylic paintings based on these acrylic mock-ups. It's a series of paintings called Blueprint. It's based on the window. Then we had to design a kind of light box for the piece, and that process has taken about nine months, involving the original architect, the window people, engineers, the installer, who had to figure out a method to hold the glass in place. Each pane weighs 110 pounds. Now with today's technology, you can buy these terrific LED panels that give lighting over a large surface. And then behind that has to be a back panel with rubber gaskets that completely seals off the entire window, not only for dust, but also for air circulation. You can't have any uh, condensation built up inside because once that window is sealed from behind, that's it, it's sealed. So it's very complex.
I want it to be very celebratory so that it would really splash onto the street. That's what my work is mostly about, trying to bring a celebratory nature and bring some joy and some beauty into people's lives.